You are watching Unfold Data Science and my name is Aman. In this video, I am going to tell you about a framework. Now who has built this framework? This framework is built by me by observing thousands of students over the years who have migrated to data science from some other field. Okay? I am going to talk about a four step framework that is very very useful to get your first data science job. Okay, let's go ahead and see what is the framework I'm talking about. This is your step one. Step one is learning. Okay, what is step two? Step two is building. What building? I will discuss in detail. Step three is showcasing. What to showcase? How to showcase? I will explain you in detail. Step four, asking. Asking what? Asking for jobs, internships. Okay, here, if you want, I can tag a couple of people who has used exactly the same framework and got job. I know those people personally. I can tag them. You can get in touch with them. Okay. But first of all, guys, we will try to break this and understand what I mean, what I want you to do in all these steps. Okay. And what are the difficulties? What are the challenges and how to overcome those challenges? Towards the end, I'm going to tell you some very very interesting thing that is happening in the industry guys which you may not be aware okay because you may not be seeing industry from that perspective i'm going to tell you that also okay first of all guys when we talk of learning right then i will write just a couple of things here and i will explain you what i mean by that because i want to cover everything in one single slide okay so when i say learning right the first thing you have to keep in mind is learn from someone be it aman or be it someone else learn from someone who is from industry that's a very very simple thing because we are going to ask a job where we are going to ask a job in the industry okay and here i'm specifically talking about getting a job i'm not talking about doing something in academics writing a research paper nothing i'm talking about getting a job learn from someone who is from industry who can talk real world projects when he teaches you he should be referring to his own projects he should be giving you knowledge on what is happening on the ground keep in mind when you start learning learn from that kind of person second thing that i want you to cover here is learn in a systematic and iterative way what is the meaning of that i am writing here systematic okay and learning is a iterative process okay i will write here itr now what i mean by this is do not jump to deep learning if you don't know what is a lasso regression do not jump to cnn if you don't know how to do basic data cleaning so it has to be a systematic process and an iterative process what is the meaning of this first i will understand python then i will understand this then i will understand this then i will understand this step one two three four okay and it has to be an iterative approach if i don't understand something i will go back learn about that again okay i'm not telling you learn from this platform that platform wherever you are learning it has to be systematic iterative okay that will give you confidence that is why i'm writing it here and third thing that you have to keep in mind is you have to have an approach of breadth first okay so you don't need to worry about depth okay you don't need to worry about depth you need to worry about how much wider i will say how much wide you can cover things wider learning means what wider learning means uh, if somebody asks you what is the meaning of uh, cnn you should know at least basis basic of what is cnn if somebody asks you what is the meaning of um, lasso regression you should be able to tell at least high level what is multicollinearity at least high level what is deep learning at least high level what is uh, weight initialization in deep learning at least high level what is the meaning of logistic regression at least high level some mistakes that people are doing is they will take a very very complex project okay and invest a lot of time in that project for example some um, video analysis kind of project they will take which is not very frequent in industry guys try to understand this how many organizations will work on a video analytics tell me very very less number of organizations right you should have a bigger bucket to offer okay depth comes later bigger bucket to offer so i can work on image analysis i can work on uh, let's say retail uh, analysis i can do some nlp social media analytics i have also have some exposure to let's say 
loan prediction, default loan prediction. I have also exposed it to some other things. So wider things to offer to the recruiter. Okay. Then obviously, if you have time and if you have patience and if you have all the things, you can go in deep in all the topics you can learn depth wise. First, you should be a, you should take a wide you know learning approach. Keep these three things in mind, guys. I can give you like like ten more things here, but I don't want to overload you with lot of information. Okay. Second thing, second step in this framework is I'm talking about building. What are the things that you need to build, guys? And what are the challenges you will face? First thing that you need to build is project. Obviously, you know this. Without project, you cannot go to the interview. In building the project, what are the problems you will face? First problem you will face is where from you will get the data, where from you will get the problem statement. I have created two detailed videos, different sources where you can get data and what is the right project for your resumes. You can see the link here. Both these videos are extremely important, guys. What data, how to use and what should be the good project for your resume must watch. It will give you a very good understanding of how to build project for your resume. Now, I'm assuming you are searching for first job. Hence, I'm giving you perspective from that angle. If, if it's an experienced person, then the, the, you know, the view will be different. But here I'm, I'm giving you from a fresher's point of view that view. Okay. So you will build your project. Second thing, what you are going to build, you are going to build. So this is first. Second thing, what you are going to build, you are going to build a very good portfolio. What is the meaning of very good portfolio? Suppose you are doing some project, you need to put it at a place where people can view your work. Now that that place can be, you come in the Kaggle leaderboard, you, you put it on a Heroku and you give the URL, you deploy it on some server and you give the URL. Somehow you create an API and access your model. All these things, how do you build your portfolio? This is what I have done. Okay. One, let's say one website of yourself. This is who I am. I have built this project. This is my LinkedIn. This is how I'm active on Quora. This is how I'm active on Facebook pages. All these things combiningly will build your portfolio. Okay. Very, very interesting thing I'm telling you guys, because gone are the days when recruitment used to happen from Nokri.com, Monster.com and some job portals. Okay. Believe me, things are changing very rapidly. I will tell you what are the things that I have observed recently. Okay. So what all you will build? One is you have to build a solid portfolio projects. I have spoken to you. Let me see in my notes what all I captured. And then one important thing that you need to build is called network. Very, very crucial and very, very important guys. Why? Because without network, data science is a small world let me tell you guys okay very very small world if you build a good network right it is going to be useful for you throughout your career not today not tomorrow always believe me my personal experience okay how do you build network very simple there are various groups on facebook various groups on linkedin various groups on different social media platforms telegrams youtube etc right and Webinars are happening, seminars are happening, talks are happening, competitions are happening, hackathons are happening, events are happening. How much ever based on your capacity, you can participate and you can build your network from all different kinds of people. When I say different kinds of people means somebody who is a leadership position, somebody who is at your experience level to understand what they are doing, somebody from a different educational background, let's say somebody from IAMs and IITs, right? So build your network with these kind of people, right? And when they do good in life, definitely something good will flow to you as well. Okay. Now here I have spoken about two things of this framework, guys. You have to learn. Without learning, I cannot go and ask for a job. Very simple, right? And without building these three things, for example, project, portfolio, and network, um, I cannot grow beyond a limit. Okay. Learn, build. And then what I'm talking about here in showcasing, guys, let me tell you what I mean by showcasing. So I was talking to you about hosting your application somewhere and then showcase it to the world, right? So for example, here I will tell you, um, your, your application should be, see, uh, if you have done some work, right, it should be visible to the world, okay? For example, if I say that um, my GitHub has N number of folks or, you know, forking done, that is one, one KPI against my profile. If I say that uh, my YouTube channel has these many likes and views, that is one KPI for me. 
you can say uh, i wrote an answer on quora for linear regression and that that you know got 1 lakh views that's a kpi for you right all these things you have to showcase okay there are different ways in which you can do that so one is go ahead and answer different questions on quora so answer people's query not only on quora on telegram on different different channels on somebody's youtube video on my video only somebody is asking you can answer right that way you will you will showcase yourself to a bigger audience okay uh, twitter is a very good platform in twitter people are discussing many things suppose you don't know a lot of things but you have some understanding of how regression works how classification works right you can give some some knowledge in the comments right and then people will noticing okay this guy is kind of commenting some some good comments you know always so you have to answer on different different platforms second thing that you have to focus on in showcasing is you have to have a shareable work shareable work means the the link that i was shared talking about you need to create a powerpoint presentation or a pdf in which whatever projects you have done right what was the achievement what was the metric derived um, what was the business benefits some eda chart some problem statement solution all those things in a short pdf or short word file kind of format which can be shared with someone right those things you should be able to do in showcasing part you should be able to interact with business leaders different people not everybody will talk to you but some of them will talk to you okay and when some of them talk to you you should be able to showcase your work so if you have a shareable link if you have views on your answers views on on your youtube videos right all these things are part of showcasing and if you observe it is slightly linking to the portfolio building part okay so you are doing nothing but you are building your portfolio and what you are doing else in the showcasing part you have to be very very visible okay you have to be very very visible you should not be hiding yourself be visible on different different platforms all these things whichever i explained right keep yourself engaged on all those platforms it may not give you a very short term benefit but in the longer term it will give you too much of benefit okay and then in the final thing once you have learned once you have built your portfolio once you have built projects build network build answers you know you are visible you are able to showcase then you will go ahead and you will do what you will ask for either internship okay internship or you will ask for job okay or you will ask for freelance opportunities okay all these three things in some way or other will give you money okay and all these these three things in some way or other is um, you know uh, beneficial for you okay how to ask for internship and number of ways right i don't want to go into much detail i have a detailed video on this also you can see the link job uh, linkedin plays a very very crucial role, role now okay so linkedin you should be very active your profile should be very very good you should write meaningful things on other people's uh, uh, articles posts contents you should get connected with good people you should get connected in a bigger community bigger audience okay and you should try to be um, very very active on you know you should eat and drink data science that's what i'm saying you should eat and drink data science okay then you will be visible and you will be able to ask for whether it's a job opportunity or freelance or internship opportunities now i want to tell you something interesting guys okay so all of you know the concept of branding right i told you i will tell you something interesting towards the end of the video right so branding is what you know branding is for example um let's say let's say maruti is a car brand in india okay maruti is a car brand in india now maruti has a trust okay maruti has a trust people will buy the cars if it has maruti logo now let me tell you one interesting thing guys as we are talking now there is a term becoming very famous okay in the corporate world and that is known as personal branding okay maruti is an organization and me and you are one individual okay we have to have our own brand now what is the meaning of having our own brand guys uh, you have to do something which tells that you are different from the rest okay which tells that you are not an ordinary person who is just doing a job and putting you know a nine to five job and coming home and you know normal normal thing you are doing right there has to be a brand associated with your name that okay 
For example, if your name is Aman, Aman is writing this uh, post. So this post will have some meaning in it. Okay. Aman is creating this video. This video will have some meaning on it. I can give two minutes, five minutes, seven minutes to this video. Similarly, when you go to interview, right, your personal brand should speak for you. Okay. So when I go to interview, people should should uh, consider those things, right? I was talking to you about uh, creating a portfolio, creating a shareable link, all these things, very, very important, very, very important because in all these things, you are indirectly building your personal brand and personal brand is not something that is going to give you reward today, tomorrow, day after. No, it is going to give you reward in long term, guys. Everything I'm talking to you is from a long term perspective. Okay. Let me know how did you like this four step process, guys? And please press the subscribe button if you have not done yet, because YouTube is telling me 80% of people are not subscribing to my channel and, you know, liking the content. So please, guys, that is the only motivation for me. Please press the subscribe button. I will see you all in the next video, guys, wherever you are. Stay safe and take care.